Welcome to Michelle's Paint Shop Web and Graphic Design Newbie 101. This tutorial we're going to go over how to do text on a curve, but the main culprit here where people tend to have problems is where they do text below the curve, and this is where we're going to go over that in this tutorial. So to get started we're going to go to File, New, and I'm going to set my width for 400, my height 300, my resolution 72, and I prefer to work in a transparent background, and I'll click OK. And now I have my workspace. The tool that we're going to be using is in the Preset Shapes tool area, known as the Ellipse. So go ahead and click on your Ellipse. Now, we can edit our tool options for this shape and the mode that we need to be in is we need to draw an ellipse and we have to have our show nodes checked and create on vector checked. Our line style, choose a line style that is appropriate if you do not plan on having a line in the end um, it may not matter what line you choose, but I suggest you use a solid line and you set that width to 3. Then we can go over to our materials palette and this first orange color here is the foreground and stroke properties colors, which that means it would be the outline. The bottom black color here is our background and fill properties, which means it would fill in our shape. I currently would like my the black color to be my stroke color and the orange color to be my fill color. So right here I have a double carrot where I can swap out my materials. So I'm going to click that one time and now my materials are swapped out to the way I'd like it. While I have my preset shape tool active, and all my settings done, I'm going to go into my workspace, the upper left hand corner, and I'm going to start to draw out my oval. It's very good. Now, I'd like to center this item in my workplace, so I'm going to go to Objects, Align, Center and Canvas. Now I'm going to go over to my text tool. And my text tool, I can go and I could choose my font name, the type, the size. I could set it where I want it to be centered, if I would like it bold. And it's important to start with an offset of zero and the rest zero. Taking your mouse, you'll notice that, you know, the, not the bounding box, but the actual oval itself has nodes, one, two, three, four. The top node is what we're going to be working with, so if I put my mouse over that, you're going to see I'll get that A with a half uh, curve under it, which is text on a curve. Once I see that, I can actually click down, excuse me, I could click down, and it's remembering the text that I typed earlier, but text on the curve. You can see it brings that out. If I'd like my text on the outside of my box or the inside of my box, this is where the offset op uh, option comes in handy. Now, if I'd like this text to go inside my box, I would have to subtract, so I'd have to type in 0, let's try 0, uh, subtract 20. It's not good enough, so let's try subtract 30. And now we have it. The text is on the curve inside of my box. So now, I could actually, uh, I see I have room to increase the size of my font. So I can go, let's say, up to 48. And you can see what happens is when I increase my font, it gets closer to that edge again. So that is why your um, offset comes in very handy here. 
but I'm going to bring this back down to 36. And I prefer to have my text on the curve on the outside. So what I will do is I will just type in 30 now. It's a little too high, so let's try 15. And still too high, 10. And that's how you do it. That's how you work with how you want your text. If that's how you were just going to leave your image, then that's why you would want to be working with your offset as much. But if not, try to get it as close as you'd like it because it's not going to matter. You're going to be able to move this text on its own, meaning by itself, later on in this tutorial. But I do want to see, try to keep uh, a bit of a curve here on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to put this to five. And that's better. I can click Apply. Now you'll see in your layer palette here that you have a vector and it shows the text with the shape. You'll also see a plus sign. If you click that, you'll see your sub-layers for the vector layer where it contains your text and your shape. Immediately, I would suggest that you convert this to a single shape. You do that by right-clicking on it, go to Convert Text to Curves as a single shape. Now, it's still attached to my oval. So what I need to do, while I'm, I know that this is my active layer, I'm going to go to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste as a new layer. 